In this video, I will demonstrate basic formatting techniques using the tools listed here in your font group. If you want to change your font style, you would select the font style drop down arrow. You would select the font that you would like to apply and click. If you'd like to increase your font size, you would select your font size drop down arrow, select the size that you would like to apply and click. If you would like to increase or decrease your font, there is an increase and decrease button right here. I can click increase and notice that it went up by two points. I can click decrease and you'll notice it goes down by two points. If you want to change the case of your text, you can select the change case button right up here and you'll notice there's sentence case, lowercase, uppercase, capitalize each word. This is also known as title case and then there's toggle case. So let's look at some of these. If I select uppercase, you'll see that all of the text is now in uppercase. If I click the button again, and I select capitalize each word, you'll notice that at the beginning of each word, the letter is capitalized. Let's say I've applied several different attributes and I want to clear them all at once. I can select the text and choose clear all formatting. That removes all formatting that was applied to that text. This button is your bold attribute. It will make your text darker. This is your italic button, which will italicize your text. And this button is your underline button, which will underline your text. You'll notice that the underline button also has a drop down arrow, which will provide you additional selections. You'll also notice in here you have more underlines which will provide you even more options and you can change the color of the underline as well. There is also an underline color right in this area as well. This button is your strike through button. If you click on it, it will put a strike through your text. The subscript feature will allow you to put a character slightly below the line. So I typed H2O to give you an example. I'm going to select just the two and then I'm going to select the subscript button and you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you could see that better. Now hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Superscript will allow you to put a character just above the line. So I'm gonna select the number three and I'm going to make this superscript and you'll notice now that it looks like five to the power of three equals 125. Text effects and typography allow you to get really artistic with your text. You can click the button and you'll notice that as you point at each one of these, you can see how your text would change based on this word art that you select here. You can also go into each one of these individually and change, let's say you want the outline instead of it to be orange, you want it to be blue, or maybe you want it to be a little bit softer. You have the option to put shadows, reflections. This one allows you to put on a glow. So as you can see, there are lots of options available to you. This is the highlighter pin. And if you select your text and then you click the highlighter pin, you can actually highlight portions of your document. This is very helpful if you are collaborating and editing with somebody else. Font color is when you change the color of the text. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose orange and you'll notice that it changes just the color of the text. That is my quick overview of basic formatting techniques in the font group. You have additional advanced options in the launcher here. If I click this, you'll notice that in addition to superscript and subscript, I have small caps, all caps, hidden, double strike throughs. So we have lots of options within here and also in the advanced settings. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please click like and subscribe to my channel.